Now, we've all been uh, really annoyingly into Star Wars, but specifically lately, Star Wars Battlefront. Yeah. That's kind of our jam. Um, a lot of people are playing that right now. Uh, you are... This is a multiplayer game. We all it know is. that. You can kind of you can kind of play it single player, but you're doing this weird thing that's I want to say vaguely antisocial. Would you vaguely? Care, to, care to elucidate us on how you are making this multiplayer game a single player experience for yourself? How, okay, so Star Wars Battlefront. Obviously, uh, when we first heard about it, you and I were, were very specifically uh, irked. I guess is the word that there wasn't like a dedicated story mode, like a campaign where we could really get in there and sink our teeth in a you know. Uh, dialogue and characters and telling people telling us you got to do this objective and do this next and this next um, Instead, it's a, it's in, incredibly multiplayer focused, right? But what if it doesn't have to be now the story of Star Wars is Star Wars Obviously when I'm playing this right now I know that when I'm the rebellion I got to fight the stormtroopers because they're bad dudes and when I'm the storm stormtroopers I gotta kill the rebellion guys. They're they're awful, right? That look at that star like pit. That is just gorgeous. Sorry. I stopped to gawk at this game very often um but I played this game with you guys the other night. Now, I'm, by you guys, I mean like six people at IGN. We put our, we got in the party mode on PS4, mm -hmm. put our, our chat headsets on. Chat Everybody hats. was babbling. Somebody was in the background talking about their Comcast bill. You know, all the things that I remember from the hit films Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, or not. So I got a little annoyed at that after a while, and I decided to just put my headset on in the surround sad mode. Mute everybody, get out of the party, get away from everybody, shut off all the notifications, and just indulge in this game as a single player game where I don't have to talk to anybody. Now, in this game, you there's no there's no chat mode in the game. You have to do that through party chat, right? Mm -hmm. Which means that you don't have to hear anything but Star Wars sounds if that's the way you want to play it. Now, my objectives are to survive like most Star Wars movies, and to kill the bad guys, or the good guys, like most Star Wars movies. So effectively, I'm playing this multiplayer game by myself, and I love it for that. That's, I, I get where you're coming from. Because it really is, it is, I mean, it's, it's very, it's very multiplayer-ish, very arcade -y. you know, it's mm -hmm. not, it's, it doesn't have, you know, single player campaign oriented objectives, it's kind of just shoot the thing. Right. Which, I'm, I think kind of from a distance I wasn't really fond of, but actually getting in there and, and getting my getting my hands dirty, I really I'm okay with it. I yeah. actually my internet cut out last night and I was stuck playing some of the the like the what do you call them like missions or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and even that's like pretty fun. It I'm, is because it it really is just it's so it's the it it feels just like the most detailed Star Wars anything we've gotten really. Yeah, like we watched the trilogy on repeat pretty much and. So I like mm -hmm. I really like those uh, those challenge modes, those mission modes. Um, I I also do like playing the multiplayer game by myself because there's a meta game that's kind of happening that sort of appeals to my old school like single player arcade gamer in mm -hmm. me, right? Which is like every now and then you get a little pop up that's like, oh, you got ten headshots in a row. If you get twenty five in a row, you unlock like a character model in a diorama or a new gun and all that stuff. Like, yeah, you can use most of that stuff towards multiplayer, but there's like meta game single player stuff. Single player game uh, that's happening while you're playing these these multiplayer matches, which to me, like I said, don't really feel like multiplayer matches because aside from the little pop ups that say like you know Bong Rick for sixty nine hit you in the head with a torp uh, torpon or whatever they're that, a torpon. <laughs> torp <laughs> What's wrong with you? But it's it's basically uh, it's basically like playing a single player game, uh -huh. and I really like it for that. So if you're on the fence about this game, uh, it's gorgeous, it's fun. The one thing that I see people having a legitimate complaint about in this game is that they're not particularly wild about this brand of gunplay. Now. I don't think there's any amount of maps or content or anything that will change that for you. If you're more of a Call of Duty guy or more of a, you know, Halo guy or Destiny or whatever, stick with those games. I'd I say this is more aligned with with those games than than with like Battlefield as we've yeah, seen, you know. Yeah. It's very I mean it's 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 kind of nerf guns, you know? Yeah. Kind of running around in a yard just being like pew 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 pew. Which I really like, right? Like, I mean, you have that sort of dichotomy of you have your main weapon, uh, which like heats up when you mm -hmm. when you use it too much. It's and casual. Then, it's casual. And then you've got you get your little cards. Yeah, and you, we, yeah. We can say that word like it's not a bad word, right? I feel like that gets thrown around as a negative thing all the time. But I casually jumped in this morning and played an hour worth of matches and I leveled can we, up. Can we just talk about that? Like casual as a pejorative is just like that's Really weird that that. I mean, I get that there's hardcore gaming and you're proving yourself as a as a as a true gamer, but like casual in pretty much every other circumstance is great. Like casual sex, casual attire, like it's true. Casual, casual Fridays, casual wear, casual Fridays. Yeah, like just it basically means that you're like you're not worrying too much about it. I think casual sweaters are a problem. You look weird in that, and you shouldn't be wearing it. What's a casual sweater? Like a weird sweater. <laughs> I think it's just, sweaters are just casual in general. Like, like what Marty Sleva wears. 
Okay. Like that weird Tatooine garb. Those are cardigans. 